I'm now going to talk about one or two of the exercises from the wisdom of the over-self. These exercises use the imagination to bring us closer to the person we really want to be. The ones I'm going to discuss, you do before going to sleep. Any time there is a transition between states of consciousness, there is a special opportunity for spiritual work. For instance, in nature, we all feel there is something special at the time of the sunrise and the sunset. In the meditation on the past, I go over in my mind all of the events of the day until the moment when I am lying in bed practicing this exercise. And I review everything I have done from the point of view of the witness, very impersonal and objective, and I notice what I could have done better or differently, handled a situation better. But I am not doing this with feelings of self-criticism or disappointment or guilt or any of those emotions. I am simply objectively observing and noticing how I have acted and how I could have acted differently. The idea is you do this exercise every night for a very long time. It impresses on your subconscious mind a picture of how you want to be in your higher self and it creates a magnetic energy that helps you to act that way more often. There is a similar exercise called the meditation on the future. Instead of reviewing the past day, we review the next day. But we don't know what's going to happen. But for example, maybe there is a situation that will be difficult for me. Maybe tomorrow I am working with someone who is a little irritating to me. Or I have been assigned a task that is my least favorite task. That could happen. So I imagine myself handling that situation or being with that person. And I imagine that situation as I want to really be from the point of view of my higher self. And I imagine it in very specific detail. I paint a picture with my mind of exactly how I want to behave. It's like you imagine yourself being on the short path when you are with that person or in that situation. Similar to the meditation on the past, we are creating an energy pattern in our minds which, because of the power of thought, will come true. So maybe the next day you still get irritated or you wish you were doing something else. But you do this exercise every night for a month or six months or a year. <laughs> because I said the short path isn't necessarily shorter. <laughs> And then you notice that suddenly you are being different. And as I said, this is similar to the power of God's mind that creates the universe. Our mind is part of God's mind. As we have heard the expression, as above, so below. So in a small way, within our mind, we have the power to create the universe, just as God creates the universe.